I was born to Irish immigrants Joseph and Mary Clines in Ridgeway, Pennsylvania in 1888, I began to work for the Union Labor Party and even gave a speech at their state convention. From then on, I became involved in a movement that would become known as the Populist Party. You see, I believe big businesses have made Americans wage slaves, which means wages mean everything. I have made several speeches about my theories. Wall Street owns the country. It is no longer a government of the people, by the people, or for the people, but a government of Wall Street, by Wall Street, for Wall Street. The great common people of this country are slaves, and Monopoly is the master. I became involved in a revolt of Kansas farmers against high mortgage interest in 1890. This placed me in forefront of the People's Party. You probably heard me throw around the word Populist Party. The Populist Party, also known as the People's Party, is a political party that favored agrarian or rural society and despised banks, railroads, and elites in general. We frequently form coalitions with labor unions. Although I enjoyed the Populist Party, I began to drift from the party after Populist Governor Luling was elected into office. However, I did decide to pursue other movements. Let's take a look at the movements I became involved in. I began to focus on temperance, which is abstaining from alcohol. No alcohol. Temperance. I also focused on women's suffrage. Hey, you're a woman. Do you want to vote? Heck yeah, I do. Then join the women's suffrage movement. Let us vote. Let us vote. Women suffrage. Women suffrage. Aside from my involvement in various movements, in 1895, I wrote The Problem of Civilization Solved, and in 1896, I moved to New York City where I edited the Democratic newspaper, World. Also, I worked as an editor for the National Encyclopedia of American Biography. I even returned to the spotlight when Theodore Roosevelt was elected into office. I have seen with gratification that my work in the good old populist days was not in vain. What you farmers need to do is raise less corn and more hell. After watching this video, I think the better question is, why shouldn't I be in the Hall of Fame?